Hey guys, this is Nicholas Black of Code Black Fitness. We're gonna do a quick little workout for our chest. This is something that you won't need to do at the gym, you can do it right in your house. Uh, as long as you've got a little bit of space, we can have a good time. If you can get a stopwatch, or you have a stopwatch, or a nifty watch like this, that has got a little stopwatch function, use it because it's gonna help you. Some of the stuff we're gonna do, some static holds. Otherwise, grab a towel if you need it, grab a little water. We're only gonna be working out for five minutes, so let's rock and roll. All right, so we're all down. Great, we found the floor. We love the floor. Now, we're gonna do some push-ups. And everybody's like, well, why would I do push-ups? I can do push-ups whenever I want. You can do push-ups whenever you want, but we're gonna make them a little bit tougher. And then if you have some trouble, we're gonna make them a little bit easier. The idea is that we can pump some blood through these muscles, get some oxygen in there, and start to kind of work out a little bit of the early soreness, especially when you first start working out. You don't need to put a bunch of weights on your body. You can do a lot of it with your own body weight. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to take a stance that's about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, but shoulder width. I'm going to go up onto my feet if I can. If you can't, if this is too much trouble or you have shoulder issues, something like that, that's fine. Put one knee down. The idea, though, is you want to try to keep your back as straight as possible. Okay? We're going to do three perfect push-ups. Doesn't sound like much. It's easy. All the way down. My chest is touching. All the way up. Nice and relaxed. Now, if you can look forward while you do this, that's even better. So we're going to go all the way down. All the way up. All the way down. All the way up. Now let's talk just for a second on the breathing. So go ahead and take a knee. When we're going down, so this is the decontraction of the muscle, or basically when the muscle is not contracting. So as that muscle decontracts, you want to breathe in. That's what people also call the negative of the lift. The positive would be the contraction. So let's do three more, and this time I want you to breathe with me. Ready? We're breathing in. We're breathing out. Good, just like that. Breathing in. All the way down. Breathing out. We're breathing in, we're breathing out. Now, if you're having trouble, put one knee down. But what I would like you to do, if you can, instead of doing this, which I don't even really know what that is, take your body and lay flat like a lizard, right? So my knees and my thighs are touching. And then just do a push-up with the upper part of your body. People call these girl push-ups, but trust me, there's many guys who cannot do these girl push-ups. So, I still have my same hand position. I'm gonna still follow the same breathing. Out and in. And out and in. And then what you can start doing is, you can start going up, uh, what I like to call Michael Jackson's. Breathe out. And once your upper body is up, lift your hips. Good, and then when you go down, you wanna maintain perfect form. But let's say I'm really tired. Oh man, I can't, I can't get up. Okay, that's fine. Upper body first. And then lower body. Good. Just like MJ would do it. In and breathing out. Out. Oh, I'm really tired. In. I'm going to Michael Jackson my way up. There we go. It's the sweetest thing. Boom. And look, I'm up. Now. You're gonna to start to feel your triceps probably. If you're literally doing what I'm doing, you're gonna feel your triceps burning, okay? Just for a second, let's put a knee down. What's a tricep? It's the muscle right here. What does it do? It counteracts the activity of the bicep. So my bicep is contracting, okay? I'm, like when I make a curl motion. At the same time as my bicep is contracting, my tricep is decontracting, right? It's elongating. However, when I want to extend my arm, my tricep is actually contracting and my bicep is decontracting. So they work together. And they do that because if these muscles weren't balanced like that and I threw my arm, there's a possibility that I could hyperextend it. So those muscles work together. And they have a variety of other functions having to do with pulling and pushing. For instance, my shoulders, my triceps, and my chest are the most you know, valuable push muscles in my body. So when I bend over to push something, when I'm pushing a table or the floor or whatever, in this case, the floor, I'm pushing with my triceps, my shoulders, and my chest. 
when I'm pulling, I'm pulling with my biceps and predominantly with my back. You have some muscles that have some dual function. Uh, your traps have some dual functionality. Your shoulders sometimes do some other things. However, for the most part, you have push muscles and pull muscles, and then you have your leg muscles. So for my push muscles, I'm pushing, I'm using my chest, my triceps, and I'm using my shoulder definitely as a stabilizer. And then as I pull, I'm pulling something, I'm using my biceps, and I'm using my back. So let's go back and do some more push muscles. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that push-up stance again, and this time, we're gonna do, I like to call these scapular retractions, because it's not a full push-up. We're not even gonna bend our arms at all. What we are gonna do is, watch how I let my body kinda sink. And see how my shoulders are back? And now I'm gonna lift my body up, okay? I'm gonna let my body sink, and then back up. We're gonna do four or five of these. Letting my body sink, and then back up. Now, my, my lower back, my hips, my core, everything there is tight, but my shoulders, gonna relax and then back up relax and then back up now we're gonna go do a full push-up ready all the way down and we're breathing out as we push and let's go down and do a Michael Jackson we're all the way down and we roll it back up boom nice Michael Jackson thank you sir now we're gonna do a regular push-up perfect form feet together all the way down and back up all the way down and back up. Good. Now let's take a knee for a second. One interesting thing about this is that your body will tell you what the weaker muscles are. Now, for the most part, your chest is the biggest muscle in this group of what we're doing, right? So between chest, triceps, and shoulders. So when I'm pushing really hard, my chest, probably not gonna feel it at first because my triceps and my shoulders are the weaker of the muscles. So I'm gonna really feel those. However, if you feel one side or the other burning more or less, that's a problem, right? If my right side's burning more, that means there's some weakness on that side. Perhaps I'm compensating one way or the other. Maybe I have an injury or something like that I don't know about. If that's the case, limit the range of motion. Here's what I mean by that. Let's say I'm doing a push-up. I go down, and each time I come up, I kinda, uh, I'm having a little problem there, why? Well, because maybe my right, my left arm hurts a little bit. I'm just trying to kind of save it. Well, if this is the case, then let's limit the range of motion. Let's go down. Let's start on the bottom and let's do little half push-ups, even quarter. Okay, and I'm still following my breathing. One, two, three. Good. Now, as I get stronger, I'll be able to go further. One. Two, notice, see my legs are still on the ground. I'm still flat. I'm gonna give you a better angle in a second so you can see all this. I can Michael Jackson my way up and then down. What I don't wanna do is, I don't wanna compensate, okay? Cause that's how you can injure yourself. When you start putting all of your body on one side or compensating for your injuries, you create imbalances in the muscles. And these imbalances can end up being, you know, really bad injuries. So let's go. Hands, we're gonna go a little bit wider now. Then this kind of Spider-Man, right? I'm gonna go wide with my legs. Legs wide. Now, I'm gonna breathe out. One, good. We're gonna do 10 of these. Do as many as you can do. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, breathing in and out. Seven, in and out. Eight, in. And out, nine, in and out, 10, good job. Knee down, all right, now I'm gonna switch angles so you can see what I'm talking about with my lower back. We're back again, and uh, while this may look marginally pervy, that is not the intention, so don't get any creepy ideas. All right, I have, my, I have my phone with me, why? We're gonna do some static holds. So we're gonna get in that perfect push-up position, we're gonna hold, so my hands are at shoulder width, okay? My legs are together. Now, see how my hip is up right now? No can do, sir. Bring it down. Try to create a straight line with your body. We're gonna hold. This is called the lean and rest. Uh, oddly, it's really not either leaning or resting. It's kind of lean and resting. Um, 
You'll hear about this all the time in the military. But this is a great static position because I'm still working the muscle. My chest muscles, my arms, my triceps, my shoulders, they're pretty much at full contraction right now. That means they're working really hard just to keep me stable. Now, if my core is weak, my stomach and my abs, maybe I'm like, oh, this is leaning and resting and marginally, not much resting, but this is definitely leaning, okay? This would also be leaning and resting. Um, but for our purposes, let's keep our back stable. So we're gonna go 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do one push up, all the way down, all the way up. Now watch what I do. I'm gonna bring my hands together, very close. And I'm gonna straighten out my body, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna do a tricep push up. And all that means is I'm using my triceps more because my hands are narrower, they're closer together. So my triceps are working a little bit harder. Good, now back up. Now I'm gonna take a wide stance, really wide. I'm gonna get my base again. And you just know when it's right, you know when your hips and your back and your legs are straight. You also know when you're here and you know when you're here. So let's try to get as straight as we can. And we're gonna go 10 more seconds. One, two, three. We got that wide arm stance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna take a deep breath. And breathe out. Good job. And we're gonna come down for a second. We're gonna breathe. Shake your arms out. Nothing wrong with it. Shake them out. If you're feeling some wrist pain, that's okay. Well, it's not okay. But if you're feeling some wrist pain, it's probably normal. So what you wanna do is adjust your hands, okay? Adjust your hands to where you're not feeling pressure in the wrists. Some people, they like to be on their knuckles. I'm not a super big fan of that. Then again, I didn't like the movie Karate Kid. So I guess I'm the weird one. Anyway, let's go back now. We're gonna get our hand position. Let's do some Michael Jackson push-ups. We're gonna do a bunch of these, okay? So let's go all the way down, perfect position. Then we're gonna Michael Jackson our way back up. One, and all the way down in perfect position. Two, see, so even if I don't have the strength to do these push-ups, I'm learning the technique. And I'm gonna go down in perfect form. I'm gonna Michael Jackson my way up, good. Let's do six more, and five more, and four, good. And just Michael Jackson. Three. And two. And one. And we're up. Good. Let's take a knee. Shake it out. Hey, no problem there. Shake it out. No shame in it. No shame in it. Okay? Now, I want to show you those scapular push ups we were doing where I'm just going to lower my body. Now, I want you to watch this. We're back up. We got our straight line. Now I lower. Look how I lower my body and then back up. But notice my arms, they're not bending at all, are they? Boom, and they're back up. And they're down. And they're back up. And they're down. And they're back up. So these are scapular push-ups and they're really good for developing strength in your shoulder girdle and kind of think of your body like different areas of your core, right? So you have your abs, let's call that the front core, right? You have your lower back, let's call that the back core. But you know what you also have? You have a lot of muscles and connectivity right here around your neck and you know, your brain, it's a pretty important thing. It's protected by this big giant skull. So we wanna make sure that the, the upper strength, uh, not just our chest, but chest, shoulders, upper back, traps, so our rear delt, our rhombus, which is these muscles here that help me retract my scapula, and all the other smaller muscles that you don't hear about in the gym, but that all contribute to stability in your upper body. We wanna make sure these guys are all working together. And so you can develop these skills right here in your house. What we've done, probably what, 30 push-ups, 40 push-ups, but if you're doing it, and if you're doing that exact set that we just did, and I'm gonna run through it a little quicker. But if you did that exact set we just did, you're feeling it, okay? It's a nice warm up, it's great, it takes you five minutes, it's nothing.
Okay? Let's do it quickly now. We're gonna have some fun. Okay, we're back again. Now we're gonna rock and roll. Here we go. Three perfect push-ups. And one, two, three. Now three scapular push-ups. One, two, three. Let's go three Michael Jacksons. One, two, three. Now let's do 10 perfect push-ups. One, two, three, all the way down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And hold 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Straight back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's go wide with our arms. And let's do three perfect push ups. One, two, three, and holding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathing. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Now, that probably doesn't seem like much, but I guarantee you, if you do this three or four times, you're going to be in some serious pain. The great part is, in a couple of days, you'll be ready to do it again. When you master your own body weight, then it's time to hit the gym. But until your own body is something that's very comfortable for you, it's what they call functional strength. Be able to move your body around like a ninja. All right? When you can do that, you're ready to hit the gym. You're ready to take it to the next level. But don't even jump into the gym until you've figured your own body weight out. We'll talk to you soon. Check us out. Code Black Fitness. Talk to you later.